Alright, let's actually do our first 1-Up game. 1-Up Blast. In this bonus game, you have a chance to score some lives by entering one of the four cannons because there's it's a multiplayer version of the game, obviously, so why wouldn't there be only four cannons? So you could go on one of the cannons and then you, if you shoot down some lives, uh, that's how much you gain. You have to hit the balloons, though. And that's how this game works. I got two extra lives because I hit two of the one balloons. There's also, in some in future worlds, you actually, you have a chance to get even more. There is also a two balloon, a three one-up balloon, and a four-up balloon. Jeez. And I love how the skirmish levels are actually mixed up a bit. Just now we have giant, uh, bigger Goombas instead of small Goombas. I'm going to try to get one-ups here if I'm careful. But I failed, so I only managed to get one. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, 39 coins and 39 lives. How about that? What a coincidence. Because you get extra lives from getting some coins. Let's, wait, no. I was supposed to check the star coins. Okay, good. It's only this level now. I can use any items, so I'm going to keep those items for future future worlds. Whenever I'm in danger. It's just like Mario Bros. Straight, but it's a lot better. You can hold on to as many items you want. Uh, uh, each of them hold up 99, max. Stupid dragons. And I love the castle theme in this game more much as uh, Super Mario Bros. Uh, new Super Mario Bros. and DS, but the one of the the castle from Mario World is really cool, too. Whoa. Yeah, don't get squished there. Instant death. Or you'll take damage, and then then you get squished and die. want to go up here, because this is a hidden room with the propeller mushroom, and some extra one-ups, too. I think I can get on one up here. Yeah. Barely got a one up here, so I got three one ups instead of two. That one's just a coin. Already for the first world, I have 42 one ups. That's very cool. Okay, second coin should be around here somewhere. Oh right. Here we have different versions of thwomps. The, the, the. Ever since Mario 64 was announced, there were blue. Then in future games, after Mario Party 6, until New Super Mario Brothers, well, in other Mario, Super Mario games, yeah, they're actually original versions of mobs. Now these got, and uh, now and, and since this game is announced, they announced, uh, they feared, featured thwomp, spike thwomps, but they're still thwomps, but they're, they never had spikes around them. It's really lame. They look really creepy. Or they look really stupid in this game. I like the original versions of Thwomps in past games. Except the blue ones. That one looks like crap. I really didn't like the blue Thwomps. Because they look creepy as hell. Speaking of creepy, Drybones just stupidly fell in the wall. I don't know what's up with that dry bones. Kind of being a nuisance. Careful with the propeller mushroom. You don't want to lower down too much because you can also break down those blocks. And you can, if you keep doing it too much, you can probably cause yourself to fall. And that's not good. Oh my gosh, I keep hear I can't get in the noise of that sound. Thank you. Jeez. Here's the little cool feature from Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. It's Kamek. What Kamek does, it doesn't make the enemies bigger. He, 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 make, he changes up the level. He'll make the platforms rise. Uh, he'll make the platforms move, which is pretty cool. 
I love that for all the Koopa, the main Koopa Link fights, except the mid, the mid fight. So that's a really cool fact. I like that. I like they do something like this, like Mario World 2. Yes, I don't know but they don't make the enemies bigger though, or make Yoshi smaller. Instead, Kamek just changes the level. And that's Larry Koopa. War One has been completed. We could probably take our first, first into. Uh, we could probably take our first attempt at World Two as well. But first, Bowser Jr. is gonna take off with the princess and fly away. Seriously, Mario could just propel himself up there. I don't know why he didn't. Just watching the princess go by? You're so ashamed, Mario. You should be ashamed. You had a chance to get the princess to snag her. Okay, they didn't they don't do something like that because it just basically refers to as Thank you, Mario, but the princess is in another castle. And the boss for this world is Roy Koopa, which is very, very weird, because he's usually... Well, actually, no, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, I'll talk more about it when we actually start uh, the fortress. So I'll be talking to, uh, talking about how Koopalings work, uh, make their appearances in other Mario games when I actually do the... Every time I start the fortress levels. Here we have World 2, Desert Land, from just like Mario Bros. 3 and World. Uh, it's Mario Bros. 3 and New Super Mario Bros. DS. That was close. I don't think Super Mario World had desert, desert themed. I don't know why I said world. And we have the main gimmick is this is the sand, uh, s uh, sand geysers. That's, yeah, sand geysers. Uh, Careful, don't, uh, if you're stuck in there, it'll push you right back up, which is really nice. So yeah, this level's pretty cool. There are, I'm not really a fan of this level, except, especially in, in the next level. I'm not even looking forward to the next level after this. But that'll be till the next part. There we go, that's World 2-1. Very easy. And getting that last star coin, it depend, uh, has you could get it three ways. Uh, you can, if you're if you have another player with you, you can probably throw them into that star coin and press the A button to bubble. Almost like a sacrifice, but not really a sacrifice. And you can also use a propeller mushroom like I just did, or you can, or the the old-fashioned way, grab a Koopa shell then throw it. That's what you normally have to do, but you can also do it in other ways. So that's really cool. What? Having the propeller mushroom is a very, very cool feature. I really love the propeller mushroom. And speaking of mushrooms, we have a, there is a mini mushroom. Will we get a mini mushroom? Yes, we do. What the mini mushroom does makes you small, uh, pretty much like small Mario, but worse. Uh, but it'll make your it'll increase your jumps very much. And, you can jump higher. Ooh, that was not that bad. We got, we got a propeller mushroom, two minis, and an ice flower. Not bad. So yeah, uh, you want to be very careful when using the mini mushroom because uh, you, uh, you can easily die if you're not careful. I'll probably just do a little bit. Uh, pro I'm not gonna just. I'll probably just end. I'm, the most of this. The most of this project will be uh, moving into the next part during the during the level. The reason why this is my least favorite level is these stupid spikes. No, I needed them. There is a mini mushroom in this level anyway, so I didn't want that. Well, it made it a little easier if we use it. But, oh. so yes, these are spikes from Super Mario Bros. 3. What they do is they spit spike balls out their mouths and very annoying very annoying feature I don't like the spikes that much okay if you use the scoopa shell if you hit all these scoopas here you can pretty much gain a one up <coughs> that's pretty cool alright let's go here Actually, no, I need an ice flower before I do that. 
my PC can. Why am I going down here? 